Good morning guys. I'm feeling all the autumn cozy vibes this morning and that's exactly what today is going to be. It's Sunday for us. We're having a really lovely family day and we are going to a wonderful pop-up by Wolford and Blake who do the most gorgeous English clothing. Um, and they're at this farm shop called Jolly Nice, which just looks, I've never been, it looks absolutely beautiful. I'm hoping they may have some pumpkins out. We're gonna take you along. Um, but I thought I'd show you some of their pieces first. The boys are getting ready down to pop into the car. And we haven't had one of these just like nice days in a little while. I won't really be decorating for autumn this year because the house is honestly so upside down, but I wanna feel all the autumn vibes, so yeah. Come along with us today. And Ollie is gonna have a little look for himself there and I have seen that they do a gilet like this in the men's in green that matches. So I'm gonna be having a look out for that. But I've got this lovely cream one with a camel edging. It is so soft and comfy, fits beautifully, really relaxed. And then this checked shirt on underneath, I'll take this one off, which is giving me all the gorgeous autumn vibes. Um, and the shirts, I picked up a few shirts from them. They are this lovely, super, super soft flannel material. Perfect for this time of the year. I think I'm gonna be living in shirts over the next few months. And this one as well has the most stunning colors. A really light camel, navy, little tortoiseshell buttons. Really, really pretty. I have obviously got it untucked because of a bump, but of course these could easily be tucked in. These would look beautiful with a lovely belt, high-waisted, but equally so comfy and soft and relaxed. Let me show you the other shirt that I picked up. Same gorgeous soft material, but in this beautiful sage colour. They've got some really beautiful details. They've got the little brand logo there on the sleeve um, and they've got a lovely blue detail if you did just want to push up the sleeve a little bit like that and see the detail below. Um, same style, I have gone oversized in these. Um, I'll link what my usual sizes would be because I've shopped at Borford & Blake previously before Little Bump. Perfect, like classic, simple piece for the autumn winter wardrobe and obviously these pieces can then be layered up as it gets a little bit colder. I've got a jumper that I would fling over this one. I think that this looks really beautiful over it, but of course it can also be worn. Love, love, love me a bit of camel and cream. Oh, just adore the oversized knit. So it's got like a nice little neck there, which if it's really cold, you could have all the way zipped up. I love that the sleeves are nice and baggy, so if you've got shirt or something under there, you're not gonna be feeling restricted. And love how it fits and flows, just really effortless and easy. And then lastly, another favorite fabric of mine. Their fabrics are so soft and gorgeous. Cord, cord in the autumn winter. Hoping you can see this one if I go all the way back. Beautiful, tiered, easy dress. I definitely dress this one up with some tights, some chunky brown boots, brown belt, and a little gilet over it. I think autumn is one of my favorite times for dressing. I will link all of the items below uh, with the links to the website. I've also got a discount code with them, which I'll tell you about later, but I'll pop that here and below too. Yeah, let's head out. Collected my boys. Otto's here in the back, strapped it. And we are getting a little bit of breakfast made it, had our first hot chocolate of the season. Um, Ollie's just coming back. Otto goes a bit wild, we weren't sure if he needed the toilet. So he's, he has been, did he need the toilet? He needed a wee. He needed a wee. Well, nonetheless, he gets very excited when the car slows, like I thought I'd say your ears because he barks pretty loud. Anyway, let's head in. We've just come in and seen, I think there's a little like puppy meet going on. So we might see if he wants to go and say hello. He was a bit big for the little puppies. It was up to six months, he's nine months now, but he enjoyed sniffing them through the fence <laughs> and saying a little hello. They're gonna head back in, it's so pretty here. Um, so they have food down this way. They actually have a drive-through, which I think is so clever. Um, and we're heading back to 
farm shop shopping and the pop-up in here. This is the gorgeous pop-up and they've done a beautiful job here. So they've got a men's selection over on this side. This is the Chile I was saying about Volley. And then over this side, they've got the ladies. I think I might see if this might fit and try it on. There's my gilet, and they've also got the shirt in a lovely cream colour there too. We're now in the potting shed, maybe one of my favorite places after picking a few bits up. And I've got these two, which I just love because all I have to do is take them home and that's done. I've even got the perfect little trays for them. I really liked this pot, but I can't find a plant to go in it. And sometimes I think, if you haven't got one, just stick with ones that are already beautifully made. Blaming it on the pregnancy, but we walked into the food place and they had fresh orange juice machine. And I was like, we've got to go get an orange juice. <laughs> Our little haul. Ollie's gherkins. Some honey. Honey monster pie. My oh, also looks mustard. You're waiting for a treat. And now we're going for what I've been putting off today, if I'm honest. I could have spent longer here. It's two o'clock, so we've definitely spent longer here. Um, car shopping. Well, we're home and none the wiser on the car, to be honest. Keep going back and forth. Um, I explained on my Instagram, we both have minis. So we both have like three door cars, which are really quite small. We love them. I've had mine, it was my first car. I've had it for 12 years and it has been brilliant. Um, so cost efficient, runs really well. It's just so easy. She's got a toy that he's playing with. Just got it MOT'd, it passed, it was £40. <laughs> that kind of simple. Um, so we're looking at a bigger car and actually after putting it on Instagram, I feel much more confident going from a small car to a big car. That's something that worried me. But finding something second hand is just, it's just not the easiest. Um, yeah, I feel like so many people don't look after their car and like Ollie and I can't believe that we still, well we look after our money, okay, we have been to the tip with them, um, but so many have a lot of like scratches and dings and dents inside, now obviously you're going to get that with a second hand car, but yeah it seems, seems quite bad in some of the ones <laughs> we're looking at, maybe that's because price point wise, but anyway, we're just hoping to get a four door car by the time that baby arrives. Um, but now, we're gonna get settled back home. Um, I kind of love, dare I say it, the like darker evenings, just like cozy up at home, especially the weekend on a Sunday. But I've been hopeful to have a bath. Might be a small chance to have a bath. Ollie has gone upstairs to put his shorts on because what you can't see, well actually you may be able to see, we have had our freezer delivered. Bit random, I've also got a nappy caddy which has just arrived, which will be going down here in the utility room as well. So I don't know, I'll just put it there. Um, this is the one that we went for. It's not the easiest to open because obviously it doesn't have a door, but it has three full shelves. Gotta be careful. So it doesn't have that half depth one, which we have in this. 
I won't lie guys, I, I'm regretting the decision of this one. It was cheap, temporary, hopefully for when we extend, we won't have lost too much money and I'll be able to sell it second hand, but there's not much space in here. So this one is going into the utility in the middle and we have already pulled out the tumble dryer, which was here. So the freezer is gonna go here and the tumble dryer is gonna go here. For today, we can't do the tumble dryer because we need, I don't know, Holly was saying we need more of a cable. I'll take checking it out. Um, but yeah, we're hoping to just at least get the freezer in this space so that it's out of the middle of the kitchen. Oh no, Dad's pie got a bit squished. I'm sure he'll still enjoy it. Yeah, uh, you're not meant to be up there, sweetie. I am gonna take my makeup off and put my pajamas on. I mean, it's getting dark, so it's time. I don't even know what time it is, to be honest. Um, but I wanted to say, I've had so many comments about my foundation. And I'm afraid it's not an easy one because my all time favorite, favorite, favorite foundation for many, many years now is the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation. Love it, adore it. It's just been discontinued. <laughs> Gutted. So, 99% of the time I've been wearing that. Every now and then I also use the Giorgio Armani, what's this one? Luminous Skit Silk. Um, this one is really highly reviewed and it is really nice but it's very thick and I find it too much for every day so sometimes I'll use mostly this with a little bit of this. Now, I hear you saying that's not very helpful. <laughs> I agree. Um, apparently, Bobbi Brown's like closest foundation that they now do to this one is actually this Vitamin Enriched Skin Tint. Um, so I got this one the other day and I'm giving it a go. It is very similar. I love that, to be honest, like color wise, I find Bobbi Brown really great for me. And I use a lot of Bobbi Brown. I've got the Bobbi Brown, and this is beautiful as well, um, cream blusher. This is in the shade Powder Pink, and it's perfect for that like dewy skin look, which I adore. Um, I've also got their under eye. So yeah, big fan, been trying this. It's not quite the same though. It doesn't have as much coverage, but I think I might be going for this as well as one of their concealer sticks in the meantime. Anyway. Yeah, sorry, I feel like, feel like that wasn't helpful, but um, hopefully it's answered a few of, a few of your questions. At least you know now. <laughs> Excuse the mess, bit random in here now. Um, Holly has managed to drag this through. I mean, not that I usually do much lifting, but having me totally out of lifting, he's having to come up with a bit more creative. basically a magical carpet the whole time, yeah, isn't it? So <laughs> Um, it's not ideal, but we're having our tumble dryer over here and the door does open. <laughs> can't even open it now. This way, but it opens pretty wide. We can chuck it in. Obviously we couldn't have the freezer here. So this is how we're gonna make it work for now. It doesn't look very pretty right now, does it? But hey, it can all get hidden away at some point. You're gonna, the freezer's going in now then, is it? Oh wait, so that's working now. Yeah. That's done. Yeah, it's plugged That's in. in. Yeah, so you can turn it on. The, uh, the pipe reaches as well. You know what, I'm so glad because we actually moved that one out a little while ago. And not having it in this room, doing this was 110% worth it. Yeah. I love this little room. So having washi dryer together and in the room yeah it's made us think a lot more about our extension because we've gone back and Cheers. forth like full width not full width but the idea of having a full proper utility room with the door outside something you use every single day pretty much every day oh well you special. once a year but hey <laughs> totally kitted out now it fits yeah. actually that works absolutely fine Ooh, dangerous um but where are we going to put all our stuff now? Yeah, that is really difficult. Yeah, that is. We are officially in the third trimester this week, which I kind of can't believe how quickly time is going. I 
I thought people said it's a long nine months. Anyway, I am measuring up behind here because I think behind here is where I can put, you know I was saying the other day, I can kind of hide some of these items, hopefully. I was thinking actually I could do a cabinet. I was thinking shelves, but I don't know whether I could get like a second hand or Ikea kitchen cabinet, like a slim one, maybe to fit there. Though we do have, I don't know if you can see, we've got Otto's crate down there. He has transitioned out of his crate. He's now a big boy who just sleeps in the sun. Although last night, Holly's well, actually away at the moment. He's away for a few days. And he was in the weirdest mood ever. Like he would not settle. He often, every day to be honest, he has this little spot in our front living room, which is on our love seat. And he looks out the window to see when Ollie's coming home. I didn't think dogs knew time very well, but he knows every day like about when Ollie's coming home and he'll go and sit there and wait for him to come back. Last night it broke my heart because he was waiting there and he obviously wasn't coming back. But it was really sweet. Ollie went off for his little trip and he was trying on all his new clothes and he packed them all to go away. Um, and he'll be he'll be back tonight, so Ollie also will be pretty happy about that. But I was thinking I, if I could have put him in his crate, because basically he was whinging a lot last night, he is actually quite happy in his crate, so we're leaving it there. For the meantime, we also thought if we do get to do some major re renovations next year, it might be good to have his crate. He he quite enjoys being in it. He's happier being in it sometimes. So anyway, that needs to stay there. Else ideally I could have kept the little cabinet that we had below. And I just need to measure up. This is basically like Otto's little realm in here in this utility room. And see what I can fit here. Actually, doors might be a bit annoying. You could stay here, but we still haven't put it up. This is where I'm putting, <laughs> still haven't got it up guys from the laundry room makeover. I'm putting that one up there to dry clothes because our radiator is just here. So that'll be ideal, especially with a little bub in the winter. So, thinking about it, would that be annoying? Maybe just a shelf. A shelf is going to be easier. Yeah, and that'll all fit perfectly on there. Not the most beautiful, but sometimes you just need storage. You're going to be waiting a little while if you're still waiting for Dad to come home. He loves sitting up here anyway and just watching the world go by. It's the sweetest thing. That's why I can't stop him. It's not really meant to be a sofa dog, but I can't stop him coming up here because he adores it. And yes, we do plan on doing a little box seat for him here. Um, but also with the Christmas tree goes here. It's like his favourite place ever. In a month's time, that's going to be a little bit sad, isn't it? You're not going to be able to sit here and watch the world go by. Uh, however, he may attempt little bit nervous about the nice baubles this year he's a very good gentle boy generally but as i said he does love he loves like if our gate goes because you can kind of hear our gate it's an old victorian um gate you can hear the sound of it so he goes running to see who's there out the window anyway i think i'm gonna sign this one off here my lovely snuggly boy i have wondered as well whether he knows that i'm pregnant so maybe he was a bit weird last night with Ollie not being here thinking I don't know he has to protect me or something he is just the cutest anyway I'm gonna sign this one off here I hope you enjoyed more of a cozy video this week we've actually been doing the wardrobes did I mention that um which are going to be coming next week I wanted to do a few weeks of the wardrobes so that hopefully you saw a good amount of progress I didn't know because it was the first time we were doing them we didn't know how they were going to go and Often it takes us a lot longer than we think, but they actually went really well and they're, they're like, they look like wardrobes basically. They look like carcasses and you can actually see them in the room. It's very exciting. I'm looking forward to painting them. They're going to be the same colour as the room, I think. Although to be honest, we don't have a huge plan for them. But anyway, we will see you next week. Hope you're all well. Bye.